Our final stop on viewing form responses here inside of forms is to take a look at the individual tab. When we click on individual, right here we get a drop down that shows us the username or email address of everyone who completed the form if you had that setting turned on when you delivered it. And you can select on an individual to see all of their responses for the form so that you're focusing on the respondent themselves rather than responses to a particular question or all of the information gathered for the entire form. So this allows me to scroll down and see how this user did on this quiz. So I can see here that they missed uh, this question about the World Series, they missed the question about vitamins and the Strait of Gibraltar. So this might help me purposefully group this student with other students who need reteaching on those particular topics as well. One of the additional options you can have here under the individual tab is the print icon here in the upper right hand corner. If I click to print, it is printing simply this page with this individual student's responses. This is a great way to give a student a copy of their responses to a form with their score on it or to have something to take to a parent conference where you can show the parent how this student did on the quiz. The last thing I want to address here under the individual tab is the release score option up here. Release score relies on email, which means I'm not going to use this option if the respondents for my form were students. Even though our secondary students do in fact have email, this release score button will come from an email address that has Google Forms in the address itself. We do not allow our students to receive external emails, so that email would be blocked and they would not actually receive the score. So do not use release score if you are trying to share form results with students, but it would work great if sharing with staff members.